Okay, today we're going to be talking about incredible insects. An insect that happens to be the state insect of Illinois. This is uh, going to turn into a monarch butterfly. It, after the female lays her eggs on a milkweed plant, that egg hatches into a caterpillar, eats nothing but milkweed leaves. After it turns into a, a, an, a, a butterfly, that monarch butterfly looks like this. If it's a male, it looks like this. See these little two dots on the back part of the wings? Those are the scent glands like that the, the male gives off to attract the female. The monarch is bad tasting. It gets this milkweed sap in his body when it turns into an adult, and then it's bad tasting for birds. Well, there's another incredible butterfly called the viceroy, and it looks just like a monarch. The birds say, oh, I don't think I want to eat that because it tastes bad. The birds can't tell the difference. Here's how we can tell the difference. The monarch does not have that line intersecting the, the wing veins that the viceroy has. See the difference? Monarch, viceroy. This is actually a moth, and most moths fly around during the night, but this moth flies during the day. This moth hovers and looks very similar to a hummingbird. So it's nicknamed the hummingbird moth. So if you see a, a moth that is flying around the, the flowers and sipping some nectar, and you think it's a hummingbird, look close, it might be the hummingbird moth. The crickets are neat because the female cricket has this extra part coming out of, out of the abdomen called the ovipositor. It means egg-laying device. Only the uh, male chirps and makes a sound. This insect, called the walking stick, when it's on a tree branch, if it gets scared, it just folds its six legs back against his body and then when a bird looks down for an insect to eat, well, it says, oh, that's just a branch. I don't think I want to eat that. An insect that you'll see flying, especially around the water, it's called a dragonfly. If the wings are held out straight, then it's the dragonfly. There's an insect that looks just like the dragonfly, holds its wings back against the body, and it looks like a miniature dragonfly, but it's called a damselfly. This insect protects itself if it's frightened by stinging. It's a kind of wasp. This wasp goes out and finds loose tree bark and chews that bark up to make a paper-like material. Then it starts weaving that material. It starts out about the size of a baseball. Then it gets into a bigger size and finally when it's all done it'll have a nest that big around. Inside there may be two or three thousand wasps. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Every one of those holes is where an egg was laid. The oldest living insect that we have around is this one right here called the cicada. There's two big groups of cicadas. One that spends two years underneath the ground living off tree sap. Another kind that spends 17 years underneath the ground. They crawl up out of the ground, climb up on the tree, split the skin, and then they turn into an adult with wings. If it's a male, they have about a week to live. If it's a female, they have about three weeks to live. Starting about, oh, maybe late August, early September, You'll see a lot of caterpillars. One of the most common caterpillars is this one right here called the woolly bear. This caterpillar spends the whole winter hibernating as a caterpillar, not as a cocoon. In the spring, it'll spin its cocoon, and then in the summer, it'll come out as a moth. This is an insect that when it's on a plant, it holds its front two uh, legs feet together like it's praying. So it's called the praying mantis. It's the only animal in the whole world that has only one ear. It has one ear and that ear is right in the middle of the body. That red spot is, is the ear. It didn't come red, I colored it red. 
one more special incredible insect that you can look for in the fall called the acorn weevil. And what the female will do, she'll find a ripe acorn, drill a hole in that acorn, lay her egg, the uh, egg will hatch into a larva, then just before it gets ready to hibernate for the winter, that acorn larva will drill a hole in the acorn and then leave and go into the soil to spend the winter. When it comes out of hibernation, it'll turn into a beetle. Okay, so these are just a few of the incredible insects that are out there. See if you can find some incredible insects, some insects that, that maybe I haven't thought of, some that you think are incredible. Thank you for watching and be sure and follow us on our Black Hawk State Historic Site website and Facebook. You can keep up to date with all the things that are happening. And really, really, we'd like to extend an invitation for you to come and visit us firsthand. Just explore nature and be a part of it and take advantage of this fantastic wonder of the Quad Cities.